Hello, everyone. Miss Burkholtz here. Uh, happy National Bunsen Burner Day. Actually, National Bunsen Burner Day was March 31st. Um, and I thought, what a great opportunity for me to go through some do's and don'ts of uh, using a Bunsen burner for you today. So when we say Bunsen burner, when we talk about Bunsen burners, this is the thing we're talking about right here. I know you can't see the whole thing in the video. I'm going to go through um, just kind of how to use one and uh, a quick little activity for um, with the Bunsen burner. So I'm going to start by, you can't see this, but I'm turning the gas on. We have to light this pretty quickly. We don't want that gas to build up. Um, do not try this at home. I hope you don't have a Bunsen burner at home. Um, it really should be used only in a science classroom. Things you don't want to have happen. I'm actually standing pretty far back. I know it's kind of it's kind of hard to tell maybe on um, on the screen. Um, you don't want to uh, let that sit before you light it. Things you don't want to smell. You don't want to smell burnt hair, right? So um, again, trained professional. Don't try this at home. The activity I'm going to do today is how to make a s'more. I'm going to toast my marshmallow with my Bunsen burner flame. We want to get the nice brown light toasting, not that, uh, not that start on fire black stuff. Of course, maybe if that's your thing, you can toast your marshmallow any way you like. I think it's starting to look toasty and kind of melty. I'm going to get my graham cracker here. Little piece of chocolate. Voila! More s'mores on a Bunsen burner. Enjoy your National Bunsen Burner Day. Have a great day.